Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. It's ironic that the flesh of man is resistant to the one who made us. We sometimes fight against God, the one who fights for us and lays down his life for us. But when we trust that God hears and sees us, we submit to his ways and boldly step out with God. We're reading from Joshua 9 through 12 today, and the verse of the day is Joshua 10, verse 14. There was no day like that before it or after it when the Lord listened to the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. In context, the Gibeonites, who had sneakily made a treaty with Joshua, were in trouble. Five Amorite kings were threatening to decimate them. God told Joshua not to be afraid, the hallmark encouragement from God to Joshua. So Joshua went, and God fought on Israel's behalf. Hailstones were thrown from heaven to earth, defeating the Amorites with hailstones more than with the sword accomplished. And the sun stood still. If God is for us, who can be against us? What giant is it that you face today? Don't give in to the fear. Trust God to fight for you. It won't look the same as it did when God stepped in and helped Joshua because God relates to each of us differently in a personal relationship. But I promise you this, if you know Jesus, he has your back. Trust him. He will fight for you. Key words, friends, God hears us. The key word Shema is to hear intelligently, to understand, to pay attention to, to answer prayer. Friends, God understands. He hears us. He sees us. Don't believe the lie that he doesn't. Nothing we go through will be wasted. God fights for us. And he also gives us strength to endure hardship when it befalls us. Let's encourage one another to stand firm in God's strength. What God has spoken to us, we need to encourage others with. Joshua did this in Joshua 10, 25. Joshua said to them, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Be strong and courageous. This is what the Lord will do to all the enemies who you are going to fight. The second key word is lakam, to fight or make war. God fights for us. Have you ever felt under attack? Maybe people just don't like you. Ask God to fight for you. As it says in Psalm 35, verse 1, Oppose my opponents, Lord. Fight those who fight me. But the biggest battle is not man. Our battle is spiritual. The biggest battle we will face is sin. Our God made war for our souls. He battled sin and defeated death. We who are in Christ are no longer subject to the penalty of sin. Hallelujah. So the thought of the day, don't fight the one who fights for you. An application, no giant we face is bigger than God. God will fight for us. Will we fight for him? Go with God, friends, and be in his word. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Isaiah.